Hi, this is Karen, and I'm doing this video in order to demonstrate how to import material from an old Blackboard course into a new course. The import package option is used to upload course materials from another um, course, um, including a course from a prior semester. You first need to go to that course and create an export file and then have it saved locally. So you must upload the zip file that results from a prior course export process. To import a course package, first you're going to go to your course and navigate down to the control panel in the lower left, choose Packages and Utilities, and then choose the Import Package option, not the Import Course Cartridge, but the Import Package option. Next, you'll select the Import Package button, and you'll have to navigate and find the package, um, the zip file, that you saved locally. So I'm choosing the file. I actually saved it on my desktop. Um, so here it is here. And then select Choose. And then under number three, you need to select the course materials from that archive or from that um, export package that you actually want to import. So um, if you want your content areas, including um, course documents, syllabus, things like that, you want to select that. If you selected to export everything, you may want to just choose to import everything. Um, it completely depends on what it is that you want to import. Um, if you want to preserve old menu buttons and have them imported, please make sure to select Settings. That's important. Same with test surveys and pools if you're trying to carry over any quizzes or tests from your old class. Then hit Submit. And be patient as the export file is being uploaded. Um, this import process can actually take a long time. If your export file is large, this process might take quite a while. Uh, it also depends on the nature of your um, internet connection. So you should see a green bar that says success, the action's been queued, an email will be sent when the process is complete. Um, and again, it may take some uh, time in order for this to completely process. Once the import's complete, if you go back to this page, so if we just navigated out, and then clicked on the import package view logs page, you'd see um, that there'll be an import file here listed. And that tells you that um, the package has actually been processed and files have been imported. And you can view the logs in order to um, see a log of the import overall.